This is an alternative to a hip flexor stretch on the bench. I like prescribing the bench one a lot because it kind of forces you into that position. However, that position is actually a lot for people sometimes, especially if you're doing it for the first time. So another alternative that you have is the side-lying hip flexor and quad stretch. You grab your ankle here and you pull back. You can have your legs aligned and pull back. You can be in the 90-90 position. I actually like the 90-90 position better because if your leg is straight, pulling your leg back is gonna make you flip over or want to flip over. And then now you're turning it into focusing on balance as well. That's not the point of this. The point of this is to be balanced and get a stretch in the quad and the hip flexor. Now, if you point your toe up, your toes up, you'll notice a deeper stretch as well. And just breathe through it. Now we can also turn this into a PNF stretch where it allows you to get even deeper into the stretch and increase your range of motion even more in a very safe way. So what you're going to do for that is you're actually going to, let's say six to seven out of 10 effort, push your leg into your hand. So I'm putting all my force that way into my hand, six to seven out of 10 for five seconds, and then I relax. And you'll notice now that I can get even deeper into this stretch. Now, if you start feeling your lower back tighten up as you're doing this, that's not a good sign. There's a couple things you can do. You can really focus on bracing your abs, right? Pretend like someone's gonna kick you in the stomach. You're gonna brace and don't let go of that squeezing while you're doing the stretch. That should help stabilize your spine and prevent you from hyperextending and feeling your lower back. The other option is that maybe that is too big of a stretch and you're too tight, so your lower back is stretching before your, uh, your quad and your hip flexor. So in which case, maybe something like foam rolling your quads and your hip flexors is where you should be at before you jump to something like this. That is another way of helping to increase the range of motion and warm the muscle up um, without putting your lower back at risk.